Now that's something the real me would like to do. And I may have, through a blur, thought, that sounds really good. Maybe I'll do yoga on the beach tomorrow. But more than likely, I would take them up on that offer of shampoo. So I'll share with you a little bit about my experience. I have been right where you are. Can I really have fun on a vacation without drinking? I knew a few things. I knew that my vacations didn't, didn't really turn out to be that fun uh, as, as the day progressed, as the days as, and as the vacation progressed. I still didn't know how to vacation without it. So a vacation used to look like this. I would book the vacation. I would be, be excited. I would arrive at the destination with all sorts of plans about what it would look like. Ah, I would be active every day. I would eat delicious regional food in moderation, of course, because I was active and healthy. That was my identity. It had been blurred because of alcohol, but, but that stuff was important to me. I also had visions of connecting with my family, with friends, just like you. I also had visions of vacationing, recharging, relaxing, relieving stress. And then I would get to the airport and my brain would say, well, we're on vacation. <laughs> that means we need to start the party now. And so I would indulge in a few drinks, either before I boarded the airplane or while I was on it. And so by the time I landed at the destination, well, I wasn't feeling too energized. I was feeling uncomfortable and dehydrated, certainly not in the mood to go on an adventure. And then I would take an Uber or a Lyft to my vacation spot. And instead of getting curious about what was available, you know, what, gosh, you have yoga on the beach. Ooh, now that's something the real me would like to do. And I may have, through a blur, thought, that sounds really good. Maybe I'll do yoga on the beach tomorrow. Um, but more than likely, I would take them up on that offer of champagne. Because you guys know how it is, right? There's often a platter of champagne offered or drink vouchers. And I would have the bellman take up my my bags and I would sit at the bar and have a few drinks because I was on vacation. And then instead of exploring a regional restaurant, I would usually end up eating at the bar from the menu. It wasn't always bad food, but it wasn't anything special. It wasn't getting out into the environment and tasting something very unique. It was a hotel restaurant. And then at some point, I would put myself to bed, usually with a to-go cup. That was the start of my vacation. Well, what would happen after that? More of the same, uh, except I might do it by a pool. I might go to a restaurant, take an Uber to a restaurant to say that I was doing something different, and uh, I would eat and I would drink. As far as activities... Well, sometimes I would definitely do some activities, uh, except to be with a hangover. I wasn't making those 8 a.m. yoga classes. I wasn't taking guided tours, especially if they didn't involve spits for drinking. You guys get the picture. Is this sounding familiar so far? I share this because you're not alone. And there's nothing wrong with you. This is a solvable issue. Well, then the end of the vacation would come. Oh, and let me interject that uh, there would usually be uh, a few arguments, some disappointments in there. Uh, certainly not if I if I if I were vacationing with my kids or with my daughter who's at home. 
you know, I was not enjoying <laughs> the best moments. And I was engaging, but I was foggy or fuzzy. Because I wasn't drinking all the time. But even when I wasn't drinking, um, I wasn't feeling great. Or I was thinking about when I could drink. And then, of course, I would return home. And how did I feel? Did I feel rested? Did I feel that I had that uh, recharging period, that my batteries were ready to go? I was ready to tackle real life again? No. Like many of you, I would say things like, Whew, I need a vacation from my vacation. That's the nature of the beast. It's the nature of alcohol. And again, I felt like I, I felt ashamed, but I didn't know any different. I had forgotten what it was like to vacation without drinking. 